So you may have guessed the last item. It's been absent from the list so far. Uh, when you visit the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, you're probably going to have... Today I'm sharing five items you have to buy when you visit the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Diagon Alley. There's a whole lot of options in Diagon Alley and the Wizarding World in general, and I'm going to narrow it down to just five options. And the first one that you should consider is more than just an item. You have to go through a whole adoption process to get this item. The first item is actually from Weasley's Wizard Wheezes, right when you walk into Diagon Alley, just past the brick wall. So there are a few reasons I chose a Pygmy Puff as the first item. Uh, so this one is $18.95. They do sell like a smaller keychain version, and they also sell a larger one, which is $34.95. Uh, there's a lot of plush sold in the Wizarding World. Magical Menagerie in the back of Diagon Alley has a ton of plush animal choices. So I guess I should say magical creatures. Um, but I chose a Pygmy Puff for a few reasons. Number one, it's very easily packable. You can pack this in your suitcase without much struggle. Um, it's the only animal that there's an adoption ceremony for. Um, so you tell them the name you want to give to the Pygmy Puff, and they do a full adoption ceremony if you do a medium or large Pygmy Puff. Uh, so it's more of like an overall experience. You can get the video or the photo, and then you get to take home the Pygmy Puff. It's also, uh, I'd say most of them don't make sound. Pygmy Puffs make sound. Next up is chocolate frogs. So chocolate frogs come in two varieties. There is like a cardboard option, which is $13 for one or three for $33 right now. And each one has a random collector's card in it. So I chose this item because of course you get a really large piece of chocolate and you get the collector's card all in one. The collector's card is random, but occasionally they release new collector cards and then uh, when that happens, they put a star on the back for that new card. So if you want to guarantee you know who is inside of it, you can do that option. Otherwise, it's going to be random when they don't have a recent new edition. However, they also have a tin option, which is $25, and it's still just one chocolate frog, but the container is a tin, and it has five uh, chocolate frog cards in it, and it's the headmaster. So you know for sure which chocolate frog cards you're going to get if you get the tin. Either way, a nice collectible. You can display the box or the tin at home, and then you have the chocolate uh, to eat here or at home as well. Next up is inside Madame Malkin's in Diagon Alley. The sweaters is my next recommendation. So the sweaters are actually made from the same people who made the costumes in the movies, and it's $89.95, and they have a variety of options available with the different letters on them, of course. And you're obviously lucky if you have an HF name. Um, I have a T name, so I can't get a sweater with a T on it here, but still a nice option. It is a little hot today, so I do not think I will be getting a sweater. Uh, it looks like it is 84 degrees right now, so that's probably a little warm, but if you're visiting during the winter, maybe you get lucky in one of the spring colder days, uh, definitely a great option as a sweater. And of course, Madame Malkin has all kinds of uh, jewelry. So you have a crown here for 150, this time turner necklace for 50. So look at the love potion necklace for 50 as well. And of course the mirror will give you feedback on your outfit. Oh, well thank you. They said what a lovely outfit. That was very nice of them. Of course you cannot visit Diagon Alley without getting a interactive wand. I'm showing you right now the limited edition wand. They usually do about one a year. It is more expensive than the regular wand, but I really like this year's design. It has a cauldron at the top of it, which is pretty cool. And then you've got some stars at the bottom. It is a really, really fancy looking wand. If I was purchasing a new wand right now, this would be my choice. You can see a bunch of the other wand choices here. I will say they have changed over the years. Um, they weren't interactive when the Wizarding World first opened in Hogsmeade. And then when they added Diagon, they made them interactive where you can cast spells throughout both areas. Uh, and the wand designs have changed over the years, but they are still pretty cool. I really like my favorites. This one right here, pretty cool. And this one. And of course, there are more down here as well. This is like a giant game of Tetris here. All of the Ollivander wand boxes stacked up. And the shelves aren't level. Admittedly, I am not a wand expert. I probably don't have a future career at Ollivander's. But they do have information here about the different types of wands. So you can see Elderwood, Reedwood, uh, and all the different types you can choose from. And the designs are also pictured here. Personally, I have a dog named Holly, so I'm probably partial to the Hollywood. It says, wood from holly trees has magical healing properties and is thought to repel evil. 
Holly people make good leaders and thoughtful, loving, and effective counselors. Holly people should use their understanding of the dark, hidden side of humanity to guide others in their time of needs. I will say the prettiest box colors are Voldemort's wand and Death Eater wands. Why do they get the pretty boxes? These are like Orlando Informer colors. Voldemort's got orange and Death Eaters have blue. All of the wands here are $59 right now and they do increase every year about. So when you're watching this video, it might be a different price. They used to have non-interactive wands, but those are slowly going away. So like I said, once you purchase an interactive wand, you can take it throughout Diagon Alley and Hogsmeade. You look for little spots on the ground that have an interactive uh, marking or in the wand box, there's a map. And you can use either one and cast some spells. If you take your map to Nocturne Alley, you can actually find some secret spells that are hidden. And I also talk about that in another video that I'll leave a link to here or here. Hey, if you're enjoying the video, make sure you subscribe, please. Thank you. Before I tell you the last item, which I do recommend, there was a lot of items that just couldn't make the list. I only had a few you know, slots to choose from, and so I had to choose wisely and really consider all the factors. One thing that didn't make the list is shutter buttons right behind me, and you can make an appointment and have a like moving video. They put you in front of a green screen, and you can get some cool uh, video and stills of you in the Wizarding World. It's a cool little option, but not something that made my list today. If you're interested in pricing for what I just described, uh, you can get a 8 by 10 and digital uh, still copy for $35, $34.95 technically speaking, or uh, the video on DVD for $79.95. Magical Menagerie, which I described earlier in the video, uh, has a whole lot of options as well. Uh, again, they also sell the Pygmy Puffs without the adoption ceremony. Uh, so lots of options in here that just couldn't make the cut because I only had a limited number of slots. For example, this Pygmy Puff robe. I'm sure you would look great in it. I just wouldn't. So that's why I didn't make the list. Oh my goodness, I think this snake is saying subscribe. For $30, you can get this fluffy plush, which is actually a puppet. You can puppet Fluffy the three-headed dog. Or for $25, you can adopt a hippogriff. You just have to bow before you adopt it, I think. I think them's the rules. $27 Pygmy Puff slippers to match your robe, uh, but they do not do adoption ceremony for slippers. You have to get a big or medium Pygmy Puff, like Jake, to get the adoption ceremony. So you may have guessed the last item that's been absent from the list so far. Uh, when you visit the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, you're probably going to have butterbeer. It's the most popular beverage. Um, it's a non-alcoholic, kind of butterscotch taste with a uh, frosty topping. Uh, and it comes in a lot of varieties. There's frozen, hot, cold, ice cream, potted cream, fudge. Uh, I went with frozen today, and you, of course, can get it in a souvenir mug for $13.49. So I got the souvenir mug with frozen butterbeer. It's a little too hot today for hot butterbeer, uh, but you can obviously enjoy the drink and then take home the souvenir cup when you uh, go home. Cheers. If you enjoyed this video, I have another video you're really going to like. Speaking of butterbeer, it is trying all 16 of the Harry Potter drinks in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I'll leave a link to it here, 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 here or something. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.